Last time we used Crone Helebron to take Ulthwan within 30 turns by invading through the north. So today we're going to double down on what makes Rakath unique and that's his ability to infiltrate the old world. We're going to try and take all of Altdorf by around turn 20 and leave ourselves set to invade Bretonia and then cover the entire coast before invading Ulthwan. Let's get into it. So here we are in a brand new legendary campaign and this isn't necessarily necessary for you to do this particular run, but if you want to make sure you have the most opportunity later, you can ensure that Scourge of Cain have the underdog trait, which means you can confederate into Ulthwan. If you want to try and max your domination potential, you can reroll and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to sign that non-aggression pact and we're just going to let this relationship creep up over time because we're not going to rush this confederation. Turn 1 for construction, normally you'd want torture posts to ensure you can build the black arc and unlock the right. It starts unlocked with Rakath so you don't need to worry about this. Let's get public order because the capital is not at a port. We don't want to waste our black arc here so let's just make sure the public order is good and upgrade that main building. We're going to put our beast mage inside the army and let's go have a fight. And starting this first battle, we're just going to start off using both our Hydra and Rakath, move them up ahead, and then we're going to have our Shades here with our defensive spears up the front, and then our offensive swordsmen behind, and of course using Scattershot to get them as they come in. We're going to basically tie them up around here, try to get a flame attack in, and just keep on showering them with arrows. Use your Shades to target the Mammoth once it gets in. As always, you can assume we'll always be capturing the captives, as well as getting loot and occupy. Last up, we need to go Continuous Slave Supply, always your first stop as Dark Elves Research, and we'll be working our way towards Lightning Strike with Rakath and our Mage. We're going to get Flock of Doom, really great spell. Turn number two, let's take Conquata. Preserving your Dark Shards is the best thing you can do, so as long as these two units here have full health, you should be okay. So let's just fast forward, we're going to take down the Mammoth and then everything else to make sure we've got this nice open area at our disposal. There we go, and once again we'll just be waiting for as long as we possibly can to get the most out of this regeneration. You don't have healing magic with the Dark Elves, so waiting for this is well worth it. I'm sorry it's tedious, but it works. Loot and Occupy, as usual. And as you can see, we're starting to heal a lot better now. And we'll do even more as we increase Dreaded Slaver. And now we have Flock of Doom. We're going to start to deal some damage now. Now we can't build Dark Shards from here because we haven't built the barracks. Trust me, you will want all the public order you can get. Repair the buildings here. Turn number three. Before you end the turn, you just want to move Rakath right up to the corner. And we're going to hire two, actually three Black Art Corsairs. And that will make our army complete. Turn four, we've just managed to get our trade agreement signed with the Scourge of Cain. Uh, we don't get to see everything they hold, but remember they've got six. They haven't lost these two inner holdings yet. That's when we might be interested in confederating him. And we're going to try and tie it in with Karon Kar. So when they have one lot of the diplomatic penalties for confederating. Going back up here, we've hired our Black Card Corsairs. And we're just going to run up and attack. And here we are on the battlefield. Uh, we've got our usual setup here with the bolt thrower at the back and we're hot keying it so we can choose the best targets. But up the front here, we're going to use skirmish mode on our Black Art Corsairs. We're going to run our mage up ahead as well as these guys. As you can see, we're just chipping away at them. Now we use our melee troops to catch these guys and then we can flank around using our Black Art Corsairs. Get Flock of Doom to rip apart those big groups. And of course, we're going to loot and occupy. Good, as you see, we're starting to replenish. So repair the Citadel and get yourself a growth building there. We want to get as much public order cranking here as possible. Now, most importantly, that unlocked our black arc, right? So of course, you must, must get that. And we want him getting experience as soon as possible and growing, so let's just hire him. And Turn number five, you will have a revolt right here, so let's get Rakath in Force March, and we're going to move him basically as far as we can, but let's first just move him to the edge here. We're trying to give as much movement as possible for after the fight, and here you go. Most of the casualties will be in the garrison, so you can just auto-resolve that, and of course, collect the casualties. You don't want to be spending more time chasing it around, just auto-resolve it, it'll delete the entire army, and you want to be focused on getting into the sea. So, the job now is to get to Marienburg. That's our next destination. So, if that's the fastest route, that's the one he's got to take. The Black Ark, 
same sort of deal. So we want him to start uh, just traveling normally in the same direction. For building, of course, you want to get your restored port. That'll give you some money back for a quest battle. And after that, let's just make some money. Turn number six, let's get Rakath to start heading south. And we can get a bit of money by getting that. So we're going to use normal stance. Now around turn six to seven is when you start to see Marienburg sending forces. So we need to be really careful. Do not use force march here. Turn seven, we've got Rakath and we're going to still send him down the best path we can. Here there usually is something in the sea around here. Use your black arc to get that. I think we'll go campaign map and we'll use it to pirate another couple of troops. Checking diplomacy. Okay. Oh, okay. We can do everything now. Cool. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Yep. Marienburg have come out to try and get us. We did, but this puts us in a bit of a conundrum. Turn number eight, we only have one move that we can play and that is we need to use Force March to come up here and reinforce our Black Arc as it goes head on against this army. All right, let's win this. So we're just gonna deploy on this edge here and try to move up to rendezvous with our forces. Alright, so we pull that off, uh, we absolutely want to replenish. He's moved a little bit further down, but we can still reinforce and finish that army off. Here we go. So reinforcements to come in, we're just going to run up with our mage, do a bit of damage, and you know the drill. So we're just dumping uh, bombardments over the top of them, trying to shoot in their backs. And there we go, that army is done. Yeah, set the slaves, take what we can get. So with that done, we can do our final goal of passing our troops into the Black Ark. Bit annoying because it does eat some of your movement. And there we go, look at our upkeep, it's back in the green. And we're going to hire ourselves some extra Corsairs. And we can now upgrade our main settlement building. Now we need to keep an eye on this. So this is the quest that will allow us to confederate with Karen Carr. Let's keep an eye on it because we want to confederate with the Scourge of Cain on the same turn. Now, so now they've already lost the settlements that we didn't want to keep, so that's a plus. But the problem is, is that these settlements here don't make much money. It's going to cost us more to keep them. So we're just going to stay out of that for now. Hey champions, that's uh, turn 9 and this is me speaking from the future because I didn't have my camera or audio plugged in. So we are turn 9 and we just managed to get both Rakath and the Black Ark joined together and move them down over to turn 10. We did pretty much the same thing and the idea is to keep them close together because they will likely target Rakath being by himself but the Black Ark has enough oomph to be able to take anything on. Take any treasures you come across, and here we managed to corner an enemy army, and of course destroy it, and because there's nowhere to go, it was also destroyed. Now, sailing down further, we come across yet another army. It never seems to end. We now bring down Rakath as well. Remember, never leave each other's sides with this, and make sure that, of course, the Black Ark is in regular stance so it can recruit more Black Ark Corsairs Take the opportunity first chance you get because Dark Conduit will single-handedly win most of your conflicts. Turn 11, sail to Marienburg, blockade it with your Admiral and get Rakath on the land to reinforce, just mainly for the experience. Make sure you deploy on the left hand side as per normal, exploiting the weaknesses in the design and then just keep on shooting on the walls to take them and you should own Marienburg. Loot and occupy as per usual. Turn number 12, we had a couple of armies come up to try and retake their mighty capital and of course we managed to put them away. Of course we depend on reinforcements but we were able to get the advantage, often they're more submissive and more stationary when you attack them, therefore allowing our reinforcements to catch up. Once this was the case, we just had to make a better formation than theirs, using our monsters, bombardments and formations to be able to kite them away with our Black Art Corsairs and deal enough arrow damage to break the army. After destroying both of these armies, they were absolutely crippled and I thought that would give us a peace treaty, I really did, but they didn't sign it so we just need to keep trying because we want this war to be over. Karl Franz is the bigger issue, we need to focus on him, and if we can, we would love to end the fight with Marienburg. However, we do get the chance in our own territory to recruit beasts from the menagerie, so get this now and then sail away with your Black Ark, and then recruit yourself some more troops. 
Turn 13. Finally, they were willing to accept peace. Marienburg are no longer a threat. However, we now need to attack Old Dorf itself. This meant we need to start the war, but we never just start. We join someone else's, make a friend, and get paid for it. Boris Todbringer, he was our man, and he gave us a nice payment for declaring war on the Empire. But before we do that, let's get Rakarth, stock him up on beasts, and attack Karl Franz in Elliot, and take both the land and their leader out in a single turn. Nothing too special about that battle and of course loot and occupy upon victory. And real time me is about to come in. I think we can reach that. Let's go for it. Okay. Let's do this. And here we are. We're going to have to try to do this a bit defensively. We're not going to go too overboard with the cheese, but we are going to have to do a few tricks here to make sure we don't get too wrecked. So we're going to highlight a unit and hold shift and just honestly just draw whatever the hell you want to draw the attention out. Because we've also got a couple of mortars here, which are going to really give us a hard time. All right, let's get everyone to move forward, except for you. You can stay back there. And here we are, we have Altdorf under control. Settle in to what will be our new base of operations. It's a four settlement province, so we're gonna use this as our new slaving capital. We have a port for the capital of this province, exactly what we want. So, uh, let's just see how we're doing for slaves. Cut that one off now, that's fine. We've also got the wasteland. I don't really want to deal with revolts there, so we're just going to go like this for now, okay? Uh, check it out, we're gonna have some damaged buildings, which of course we need to repair. Happy to repair that, we will need dark shards here. Get some slave pens and repair that. Cool, there we are, so turn 13, we've already taken their capital. We will get that because we need to hire dark shards and we need to replenish this army, Black Heart Corsair and another Dread Spear. Keeps the cost down. Rakath, and I'm actually gonna replace one of these harpies for another dark shard, it's just a more useful commodity. Turn 14, let's just make sure this will be a stable province, negative four public order currently, so we're just gonna put a public order building in the capital and just make a little bit more cash for us. In Altdorf, we'll build that. And we just gotta be careful now because of course they're gonna double team this one settlement. Just gonna be ready to defend it. Let's see how our garrison looks. It's a Pretty garbage garrison. We can hire a couple of masters. I should have done that last turn. Let's get him. And it's time we started moving down towards Uberike. Uh Let's always look in the forest. See where we've got 70% ambush defense chance. Oh, and make sure you're walking. Press R to walk and then we just hide. Okay, so it looks like we only need 300 more captives and then we'll get this confederation um, opportunity with Karon Kar, which is up here. Now, the thing is, that will put on the five turn diplomatic penalty for confederating. What we want to do is to combine that with Scourge of Cain. So now we, I think they're going to attack us over the end turn. Like it, I mean, look, <laughs> even if they don't attack here, we'll be able to attack them there next turn. So either way, next turn, we'll be able to um, certainly get the confederation. So just in case they attack us over the end turn, we're going to confederate now. So we're going to sell him Cool. 1250. Cool. And confederate. Sweet. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see what issues we've uh, picked up. And that is beat up really, really badly. Oof. We have two lords. And hopefully she takes a turn to besiege that if she does decide to attack it. Turn 15, the good thing is they didn't attack this gate, so we just need this gate to last long enough to get back to full replenishment, so it can maybe push away someone that attacks it. I would like to disband this army because we're still in the negatives. We're going to send this master out this way to scout, just to make sure they're not coming for us, and we're going to do the same thing for this master here. So the idea is we can hopefully buy ourselves enough time to hire a fire mage here if we do so need it. We have Rakath, and Rakath will now be taking this settlement. Pff, that's hard. I don't have enough arrows to do this. I've made a mistake here, guys. I shouldn't have just dived in. I should have checked the garrison first. I got cocky. I forgot this. So this um this particular garrison here for the Empire it gives them like this really funky garrison where they can have uh, a bunch of random heroes to guard it, which is really cool. 
But the problem with heroes is they use a lot of arrows to take down, and I've only got one character of my own to try and take down those. And I don't think I can do it. This could be done to cheese it, but I mean, it's not very replicatable. That, that's a difficult fight. All right, we're just gonna have to pounce. Sorry guys, I know this takes us back a turn, but at least we know we can make this work. He force marched here to defend this. Hopefully he sees that is open and is willing to go for it. Cool. Ah, that's unlucky. Ah. I really wanted him down. <laughs> we can do this, we just gotta do it a different way. So he only has two armies. Yep, so we got a higher balance of power. He's only got the, those two armies. And we can handle both of them, right? So we're not really exposed. What we need is another sorceress here. We need her to pick up the troops this turn. Oh, this is gonna cost a fortune. Ouch. Okay, <laughs> how are we gonna do this? We can easily beat that army. We can't collapse that army. We are going to have to get rid of this, this other army, without a doubt. We're going to do this to improve our public order situation. Oh, there's a rebellion as well. Ah. Oh. Well, we may as well raise this sorceress because, regardless, we're bankrupt anyway, right? So, cool. All right, enter. <laughs> what? Where did this army come from? Ah, oh, dude. Well, that's fantastic. We've got reinforcements coming from behind us. Well, let's give this a go. We've got our harpies up there to hopefully distract the main force, and we're going to try and just smash the reinforcements before they even get in. Let's do it. Going okay? We're doing okay. Okay, uh, that. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, we easily will have enough uh, captives to get that confederation now. Oh no. Okay, it's beginning, guys. <laughs> oh no. Go away, everyone. All right. We'll see if we can try to get them to get a bit of civil war happening and get others to join. Cool. And here we are. We will take that confederation. Let's uh, join this master. Get him some experience, and of course. We're going to lightning strike out the reinforcements. Alright, let's take the captives. Good, and we destroyed the army. It can't get them back to us. And now we are looking in a much better position to take it this time. There we go. We now have enough arrows to be able to comfortably take out these characters. And we will, of course, loot and occupy. As per the Dark Elf way. We're going to repair this up, and we will build some growth because we need this to get walls as soon as possible. Um, uh, we could... yeah, let's do that. And we're going to sack it, then occupy, to abandon it. We don't want to be dealing with that, uh, we're just going to leave it empty. We, this is more about eliminating Karl Franz. Okay, it looks like Karen Card actually expanded up here, which I don't think I've seen before, but here we are. Uh, we're going to send our heroes back to Karen Kar, disband, and also abandon this particular province. I do not want the Norskins getting any ideas. And again, we're just going to pack this army up. We don't need it right now. This should get us close. Oh, we can probably fight off one. So let's hire this lord. Yep. Will you join a war against Safari? Yes. Will you join the war against Christ? Good. Turn 17. Let's just explore around here. Cool. There doesn't seem to be any risk of losing this. So, But either way, we're going to still move up in ambush stance. We're going to take attrition regardless. Um, it doesn't, doesn't matter where we stand. Uh, this is due to our budget being over. Uh, we're going to pass all our troops into Altdorf. Into the Black Ark. Use that 50% upkeep reduction, that all helps, and you'll be okay. We need money, I, don't, I need to lose this attrition, so I'm thinking of taking a risk. It might not work, 
But let's try it. We're going to try and do Rakath's quest battle because if he gets this, we get some more monsters to recruit, which will help us in a pinch because we're a bit spread out. And also, it'll give us another Black Ark, which is really good. Going all in here, guys. Give this a red hot go. Oh, we don't even skirmish. We just kite. Oh, a Carnosaur is not a fight you want to have with anything. Come on, focus these guys down. Ouch, the only unit I lost was the Cardivus. Ah, oh, well. And that gave us the money we need to make our upkeep commitments, so that much is good. Yeah, it's going to disband a couple of these uh, Canvos. You don't need many of them. You actually don't need any of them, but they just cost so much more. Uh, so it adds up, so we're just trying to basically manage them out of our armies. God damn it, where did you come from? Man, damn you, Carl. So we're going to try and just get this guy's back pinned away so we can make the most of our archers. Yes! Alright, so that's the second army that can't be raised against us out of the way. So, yeah, you got to be happy with that. Alright, come on, move past Carl. Ignore Carl, he's just attention seeking. Ah, oh, hell yes, good job, guys. Oh, we are not catching a break here, are we? Well, I know I can win this, but I don't know if I... <laughs> Alariel's in queue next, so let's do it. So, kind of the same formation. I kind of just have the staple thing that I do, and we'll see how little losses we can take and how many losses we can inflict. Cool, all right, let's... Next round, I'm sure she's uh, going to have a crack now. Oh, no, she only moved up. That's good. Turn 18. Well, we need to repair Elehart as well. <laughs> pretty banged up. Let's first take Grunberg. And he's got no extra troops there. Let's do it. And we can lightning strike and just auto resolve that one. I forgot to raise our Black Ark. And we could also pass all of our troops into the Black Ark. Okay, we've got harder fights coming up, but she's actually more equipped to deal with it now she's got Burning Head. So... I feel like we can hold this kind of indefinitely. This is why we wanted to confederate them here, because we can hold this gate for a really long time. Ah, oh, cool, and there she is. Hello, Marathi. We can't meet yet? Okay. Just double check that there's no one. We can get Itain to uh, join the war with. Join. What a win, guys. That's excellent news. Okay, so these guys are going to tear each other apart. And Marathi is going to have a field day. So all we have to do is hang on and she'll come in and take that. And that's it. I don't mind if she takes all the key settlements for now. We've got the old world. She can have this and we'll confederate her a bit later. Oh boy, here we go. Pretty much just follow the exact same thing as we did before. Except now we have Burning Head to help us out. Cool, so we wounded Lariel, took out her Sisters of Avalon. And yeah, this other army is pretty badly damaged, so... Turn 19. Uh, it looks like Clan Rictus has taken over most of this, so I think it's about time we struck up a non-aggression pact because I don't want to have to build walls on, on that province. Uh, where are you? Oh, you might even trade. I doubt he'll do both. Alright, good. In the east first. So we're going to move him here and start leveling him up by doing hero actions on that army there. And this one here, we can just force march to Uberike. Move out as long as we're at reinforcement range, just to make sure we can absolutely reach that next turn. Alright, we're going to go for it. We're going to raise... Sweet. Get in there. Not a great result, but it'll do. It'll do. He's got too many archers, I think we would lose. So what we're going to do is hide in ambush stance right there, and just heal up a little bit. And finally, turn 20, we are gearing up to deal with these rebellions. We've got Marienburg there, so we just need to keep on hiring these uh, Black Eye Corsairs and Hambos. And we'll do the same thing here. Yeah, that, that's two more Dark Shards, it's worth that. Also, we can start to wear their numbers down by assaulting their units and getting his levels up so he can get Psychophantic Schema. Now, Rakath himself is going to be good to attack Helmgards. I doubt they'll have any extra forces, and they don't. And Psycho Fantic Schema, excellent. So that's looking good. We've got pretty good control over Reichland. I will move Rakath in subsequent turns over to Grunberg so we can guard this corner. No one's likely to get through to Uberich now. 
And we've got our last step here, which will be getting this sorceress. But I'm going to take this one first so we can replenish and then we'll take them in the next turn. There we go, victory. That's probably the last province we're going to take for this run. I wonder if you'll join my war. It's a pretty easy war to fight now. Yes, alright, good. Don't think she's going to attack us now. I think we've got enough in common. If we wanted to push through to turn 30, I'm sure we could take Bretonia as well. We've got two Black Arcs kicking around here, and we could send one of them round to take uh, Languil, and then just make a land army and go take Caron. This is nice and steady here. We've got ourselves friendly relations with the rats, who are doing quite well there. Uh, Malekith, we haven't had a chance to meet yet. He's confederated Crone, and we're now holding this. It looks like we're just barely holding on. But we only need to hold on because we have now taken our first province out of Avalon and in the next probably four, maybe five turns we'll get Evershell and then we'll take the capital before anyone else can. After that we could probably go down here and then try to meet up. That's really it for this video guys. Uh, I hope you had found it fun. If you have please consider giving a like and a sub. It really really helps us out. If, let us know in the comments which one you want to see next. I hope you've had fun. This is Elvin Plot Armor and I'll see you next time.